maybe let's talk first about notes. And and again, I, I like I like that you think of it as pitch, not EQ. I think yeah. it's important for people. It's worth if 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 you haven't done it before, go Google frequency pitch chart or something like that to understand that like the low note on a bass guitar, the low E is like 40, 42 hertz. I think it's 40 hertz maybe. But then okay. uh, a low B is sort of like the lowest bass note where you're really going to hear, you're going to hear pitch off of it. If it's, if it's, you know, if it's much lower than that, then it gets into that really rumbly low end. But like a lot of yeah. hip hop records land in kind of like the low C, which is in the 30s like low 30s, I think, a low B is around 30 hertz. So understanding where these notes are and understanding some fundamentals about that, I think is important. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the, there's there are a lot of questions that range from production and programming to mixing. And I think it's important for people, it's very much uh, based on what you talked about there, that so much of low end is determined by the pitches of the instruments, the performance, that sort of thing. You're, there's a whole lot that you actually can't do with EQ. Yeah. Um, that if things aren't landing, if a kick drum and, and bass are running into each other phase-wise, we've talked about phase a lot. If yeah. uh, something's too low or too high, there's no way you can EQ your way out of it. You really need sounds that work with each other. And, that's and sort in fact, of a, EQ can hurt more when involved with phase anyway. So there's more chance of you fucking up your low end with over EQing than there is to make sufficient gains or substantial gains. So that's why you pick a different move besides EQ first. That shouldn't be the first thought. That's all. Absolutely. 